Oh, here we go, fellas. Just got through working on this bad boy, getting her together. And, of course, you guys know who I'm watching. The f only guy that knows about these bad boys. Okay, and once we initialized, then... Mr. Fam Bam WC Wee Wee! Mr. Wiki Clown! Um, guys, I was having some issues before with it, and... Um, couldn't figure out how to get it going. Couldn't get the program to upload right and everything, and I figured it out, like I say, by watching WC's video, uh, slowly but surely turn my headlight off. And I finally got it working, guys, as you guys can see. And I can actually go and select the little different little uh, deals that I'm running, the uh, current version, which is put this on here because I'm going to have to finish watching that to finish that up but I am running the current the current version is 5.3 and uh, I'm happy as all out get go guys because uh, that was my only issue that was holding me up before with the uh, 450 clone uh, right here guys uh that and then didn't have good servos and stuff like that so i was a little picky but now i got this little walk here 450 it's like i say guys and give you guys a little preview of this little thing it's a uh, pretty good little heli guy like i say it's it was like almost like <laughs> literally brand new man i mean the little 30 i don't know if you can see that though guys yeah wires and wait there you go Let's see if i can get my headlight 3500 kv little motor on there with the original uh walkira servos which is pretty good in the new walkira tail servo and it had the new walkira um three axis or six axis i'm sorry six axis gyro transmitter and fly barless controller all in one and as you guys can see I got the little mini cable right on here got it hooked up I am going to get ready to uh, bind this receiver to my uh, DX9 and uh, that's sitting up there and get this bad boy going cuz uh, I cannot wait cuz it's been kind of raining off and on so giving me something to do why it's raining off and on so and uh, I was going through here do the little settings on the wife's tablet and it shows you uh, how to wire this bad boy up for you see that guys satellites and other connections and for a standard receiver and that's basically what I got it right there set up for the standard receiver all the wiring right there and hopefully this bad boy goes good because when I power it up like Mr. W say the WC say something about something if you ain't something seen it's all green that's right when you power it up I get that green light on that bad boy so I know I got all the polarities the right way so uh, there she goes we got that green light there eh so that's the only thing I'm happy about. I don't know. I don't think I see a little light there inside the receiver here. But uh, hopefully, ain't got nothing backwards on that bad boy. If I do, okie dokie. You know how to fix that? Change it around. But oh well, guys. See if the uh, Dominator blades I got are going to fit on this bad boy. It might make it a little bit too, make them too long. I still got T-Rex Dominator L parts, some parts. Like the boom, which I know is twice as long. But uh, enough of me sitting here jibber-jabbering, guys. Thanks for watching, stopping, and watching the little videos. And you all guys have a blessed Thursday. Yep, Delbert's getting back into the helis again, guys. So, we're going to take it a lot slower this time and uh, try to enjoy the damn hobby because before I was kind of pushing it a little too fast. And 
yeah, you know what happens when you push it too fast, you leave shit alone and you just stray away from the hobby, and that's kind of what I was starting to do, but glad I didn't, because I still got my baby up there, and uh, I'll be ready to go, still got some of my quads, well, still got my quads, so everything's nice. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.